I know. I taught hypnosis in New Jersey. Fifteen years ago, I went down, and it was the first time, and I took 300 people, and I'll never forget the first exercise where I had them going and just describing things, pace, 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 and leading in your first day. And it sounded like a fucking beehive with three Marshall amplifiers on it. Right? It was like, I want you to sit there and relax, relax, feel comfortable. It's like my teeth started to hurt. I always remember to create resonance in your voice that, that when you put sound in their ear through the phone, the auditory cortex itself literally overlaps 40% with the, with the kinesthetic cortex, which means sound and feeling aren't that different. You know, and you guys know that all it takes is a certain tone of voice and things will change in a minute, you know. All mothers know that there are built-in sounds. All over the face of the earth, without training, mothers know to go. Right? Because kids start to twirl, crawl towards the fire. The mother picks him up, sets him down. The kid goes back towards the fire. The mother goes. Because it knocks the pictures out. So anytime you want to knock a picture out, when people go, well, you know, stock investments are always bad for people. I've seen, and you go, hold on a second. Look at it from the other point of view. They didn't know what they were doing. They had somebody who was trying to take advantage of them in the short run, not build something that would last forever. Now, the other thing is, is that when people are visualizing, their voice gets higher and more staccato. When they're going to feelings, it gets lower, more resonant, and flows. You can train your ear to hear these things very easily. All you have to do is sit in a restaurant when you see their eyes go up, listen to the tone of voice. Listen to the tempo of it. And then you'll know whether to switch to visual predicates or auditory predicates. Whichever one you switch to, remember, as soon as you start using the predicates that match their experience, expand it. Because the only close you want to make is in all representational systems. The mistake that creates buyer's remorse in every piece of persuasion where people, well, I was sure at the time, but, right? Well, you know how that works? That's because they got closed in one system and in one time frame. When you, whatever kind of closing you do, when you close a deal or when you get people convinced of something, you want to make sure that they have a solid, convincing visual, auditory, and kinesthetic representation and that everything you know in the future that would normally constitute buyer's remorse, you inoculate them against. Same thing with objections. Always inoculate. Any of you, whatever business it is, you know you can sit right down and write a list of ten objections that, that people are going to make that would get in the way, and ten that where people turn around and have a shitty attitude afterwards. Now, since you know what they are, don't be a fool and avoid them. That's the biggest mistake people make. Don't avoid it. Make it work for you. All you have to do is to be able to frame what you do. Well, most people always think this. And all you have to do is get their brain to understand that, well, you know what's going to happen? You're going to buy this china from me, right? And you like this pattern. It's lovely. You're happy right now, aren't you? People go, yeah. And you go, well, I'm not going to sell it to you. And you go, well, why? What I want you to do is to think of one time where something happens. Like with me, one time, I was walking down the street. There were three of us. I saw one of the people look down, and I looked down. The other guy looked down, and there was a $100 bill, and the next thing they knew, it was gone, right? And the one guy said, I saw it first, and I said, what? And he said, the $100 bill. And I said, yes, you did. You saw it first. I spend it last. And he said, well, I was going to pick it up. That's like saying, well, we went out last night and we were going to have sex. Yep. It's like almost having an orgasm. It's like almost being ecstatic, except for the fact you're not. Now, I want you to think of something in your life where when you think about doing it, you cannot hesitate. It's not like... Well, shall I reach down and pick it up? It's just every fiber of your goal goes <laughs> in a pleasant way. It's not the baby fell in the fire one, you know. It's, that, it's, it's the good stuff. It's like, you know, 
somebody says, uh, gee, I have these old diamond earrings. Uh, I guess I'll just throw these away, you know. Is there a part of you that would go, wait, think of this one. A, a dessert tray comes into a fancy restaurant, right? Does your head go, it's genetic. Even if you, if you want it, you have, have to look. Because there, there might be something, be something on, on there. there. You, you never, never know. know. Now, now, if you found something like that, that. Okay, okay, now what I want you to do is think of the last time. time. Okay, okay now, now, what's, what's important, important for you is I'm going to teach her something. something. Because, because what I want you to do is just think, think about this, this, and I don't want you to open your eyes until I tell you to, okay? I want you to turn away. And I want you to think about this, make a picture of it, hear the sound, talk to yourself, turn up the volume, double the size of the image. That's right. By the way, where does this feeling start? When you first get a bit of this, where does it start? Okay. okay. And, and then, then it, it builds up as a thread from there. there so where does it spread to? Down, down, or or so down, down right? right? And then and what, what happens? happens? What happens is because you don't just stay there for a while. Does it go out somewhere? What a bummer. Right. It must but seem like it just starts to get warmed up, up and then, you know? No. Gee, okay, let's try something. Think, think about it this time, but when you feel it coming out your hands, like this, pull your hands like that and feel it coming up and around, like, around. Like, like, like that. that. Richard's law physics. If, if you're leaking gas, gas, put a hose and put it back in the right place. That's right, go ahead and do it. Now make the pictures, double the size of the image. That's right. Even make it bigger. Big, thick glasses. One day I went, this is really stupid. And this, my, but my eye doctor said to me, they said, oh, well, it's when you're pulling forward, there's no room to talk. So no room to blow. And you know, about five days after I was 40, I was driving down the road, and suddenly I could see a second thing. I'm the world of most when you guys were falling in love with her. You fell in love with her? Man, you know, because you were there. You were generating a fine video that got in there and burning in there. And when it's in there, you know, it's like everything can get soup. Three weeks at least before you know you come out of it. One of the best drugs in the world.